this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to see how to parse a JSON file with Power Automate. Now this is really cool and I say it often but this is really cool because there's so many APIs out there and you want to learn how to get the, the data from those, that, those APIs and use it really easily and quickly in your flows. So let's go to one of the flows that we have already created in one of the previous videos. Uh, so let's go to Stock Checker and let's edit this process. So what this process, what this flow does is you uh, basically you click on a button and it triggers a HTTP request. Uh, the HTTP request is made to this URL. Now, just to show you, this is what what this URL is is a uh, stock for IBM, the latest the latest daily information divided by date. So that's great. We have we have a JSON file with all of this information. But how do we work now with all with this kind of information with Power Automate? Well, I have good news because it's actually really easy. What we need to do is uh, I will show you really quickly. Just add parse JSON file, and in the comment you would add the body from the HTTP request. And inside the schema, you would copy the results from the, from the URL or from the JSON file, and you would generate a sample. Now, once this is saved, uh, in this case, I don't, I don't need to do this. Now, once this is saved, you will have access to the information that is inside of this JSON file. Information such as output size, type, time zone, type, time series, uh, and every, uh, and all of this information will be accessible to you. Now, let me show you how you can use this information inside of your flow. So, very simple. So, let's say, for example, we want to insert the stock information inside a Google Sheet form, we would do this by simply clicking here and uh, Power Automate would automatically find the, uh, the, uh, the information, the labels inside of the JSON file. So that if we select label, we would get the corresponding value. So that is, that is really cool. Really cool again. Why? Because uh, because there is so many APIs out there, and this will allow you to work with them really easily and really effectively. I want to show you another example of a great use of a uh, JSON file, how uh, how it can be used and how it can be very useful. So in the, this was from a previous video as well. So in this video, we created the a automation that uses a Power Automate uh, to connect to a computer vision skill or service and describe what is inside of an image. Now, with, uh, with the result from this, now let's run this. And I will show you what the result of, uh, from, this, from this connector is. Now again, the result is a JSON, a JSON respond, response with text, coordinates, tags. Uh, so I, not really useful right now. I can't really work with this. There is no, uh, no reference to it inside of Power, Power Automate for me to work with. So what do we do? We just basically get get this variable. Uh, in this case, in this case, I just initialized a variable. But this is uh, this is an extra step. You could just put the description inside of the content, copy the URL, copy the information that we saw previously, generate a schema, and like that you could work with the information that was returned from this connector. I really encourage you to check out the uh, par, uh, parse JSON 
uh, connector it will it will greatly help you speed up your uh, speed up your development and make life a lot easier hope you really enjoyed this video i hope to see you in the next one give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and have a great day you're the best thanks